My name is Sydney. How long and have you been spinning? I've been spinning fire for a little bit over a year and a half now. What do you spin? I spin torches, staff, a little bit of dragon staff, play around with all of them. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you get started? I got started by my dear friend Devin Keith. He reached out to me and decided to create this project uh, collaboration together. So, what was your first burn experience like? Um, I've been I was spinning like hula hoop and just playing with all the toys for a really long time before I actually got started spinning with the fire. And I think the first time I spun. I was a little nervous, but then it was like, wow, like, if you can do this, like, what else can you not do? It just ignites a fire within you, so it felt really powerful, yeah. Do you have any other hobbies that you incorporate? Yes, my uh, main hobby and passion is yoga, and so this, what we kind of created here is a fusion of yoga and fire spinning. And so partnering with my dear friend Devin, uh, we created this project called Agni Shakti Flow. And so Agni Shakti Flow derives from yoga. And this Agni is Sanskrit for fire in um, the yogic text. And Shakti is the name for the feminine creative energy within the universe, which is governing the way things move, like the life force, you could say. And the flow is just that, that same aspect of just coming into that breath, going with the flow of things, the way that the river goes, the way that the trees blossom, the way that the flowers go, it's just coming into that flow state. And I think that um, through the fire and through the yoga, combining these two aspects, it really uh, allows you to tap into that. And so that's my, my passion, my hobby. <laughs> um. What do you do by day when you're not spinning or doing yoga? Usually spinning or doing <laughs> yoga. Um, but if not, just hanging out with friends, doing cooking some vegetarian food, um, going to waterfalls, and trying to come up with other projects. So, yeah. Um, what kind of emotions do you have while spinning fire? I feel like I don't have emotions actually like it's almost this state of like losing yourself completely where you go beyond the self and you're just feeling the movement of everything and I, I guess you could say empowering like mm, yeah and what didn't you expect about fire dancing what did I not expect about fire dancing? I think that I would be so interested in it and that it would just carry me through everything. Um, it's become a really beautiful outlet for me. And I never saw myself doing that. And with the help of other people encouraging me and getting me out of my comfort zone, I think that is uh, what really brought for me. It taught me how to get over my fears. Yeah. Any advice you would have for anyone who wants to learn? I would say, don't be afraid because um, the things that seem intimidating, the things that, thing beyond, the things that seem beyond our reach are the things that you must reach for and go for it. And if you need any help or assistance, don't be afraid to reach out. What is the fire community like in Hawaii and how has it impacted you? Really loving and it's not just the fire community but it's the whole community of Oahu. I feel like it really just ties in here and um, throughout the years it's changed drastically and I can just imagine like remember going back with like when I was in college and some kids and like we would all play and then it turned into something a lot more serious and um, a lot more evoking so I think that the community is just here to help you grow, I'd say, and um, I'm just super grateful, like really grateful for the outlet to have people that are loving and supportive and like-minded um, and willing to listen to one another and figure out our differences and 
really come together with the state of like Ho'oponopono and all of these Hawaiian principles and morals and just really, um, yeah, just accept each other and love each other, so, yeah. What has been your favorite moment spinning? Oh, we have these campouts, they're called Lunar Vibe campouts, and um, yeah, definitely the Lunar Vibe campouts. We would, there was one time where I had these like 70 shades, they were like orange hippie shades, and I was like dancing with it, and I like li literally felt like I was in a different era. And so we've created this little project called Lunar Vibes, and through that, it's like, yeah, that's my favorite moment. <laughs> um, have you ever heard of Burning Man? I have heard of Burning Man, yeah. Have you ever been? I've never been to Burning Man. Do you want to go? Um, it's not something I have on the peripheral, but I'm sure with uh, different friends and encouragement, I'd be inclined to go, yeah. What are three emotions or adjectives that you have when spinning fire? Um, three adjectives for spinning fire. Passion. Um, your inner flame, if that could be, that's the one. And, um, fun, playful. <laughs> yeah. And any final words or experiences that you want to share? Please come and join and connect to yourself in a deeper way and a loving way. And you deserve to be nourished with everything that you desire and I feel that if you tap into that creative flow, that creative energy within you because you don't need to look without. If you look within and find that fire, you can do it too. <laughs> Thank you.